In the mid-60s, even as Marion was busy building the NASA crawlers, it was also about to give birth to a monster the likes of which the world had never seen. Each component was so huge that it had to be specially designed in the factory. And Marion, in fact, had to develop new machine tools, huge gears, huge crawler track components, huge hydraulic cylinders. These were all of a size that had never been made before by anybody. The captain at 15,000 tons was the largest mobile land machine ever built. Completed in 1965, the captain was a classic stripping shovel, but a really, really big one. Used to remove overburden that covers coal deposits, the captain towered 21 stories and boasted a 215-foot boom. It moved around on eight enormous crawler tracks, each 45 feet long and 16 feet high. With each bite, the captain swallowed 180 cubic yards of material. The captain was a mighty machine. But Bucyrus, not to be outdone, introduced a behemoth of its own. In 1969, Big Musky shook to life. A dragline like no other, the largest single bucket digging machine ever created. From tip to tip, the machine was longer than one and a half football fields and stood 222 feet tall. Its bucket could hold 220 cubic yards of material. This monster didn't roll or crawl around the job site. It walked. When drag lines were developed in the early 1900s, they were mounted on rail tracks initially. They had problems sinking in the ground. So there was a new method was invented by Oscar Martinson in 1913. And he developed what is called a walking drag line. With hydraulic shoes 131 feet long, Big Muskie stood up, scooted back, and sat down. The machine's enormity alone generated a lot of excitement. This is a 220-yard bucket. Two Greyhound buses could just barely park inside the bucket. So in the dedication ceremonies, I mean, they had tents set up. They had people from the surrounding area and from the mining company all invited to this dedication. I mean, this was an event. An event complete with marching band. But like the flesh and blood monsters that came before them, these dinosaurs were destined to become extinct. The industry simply didn't need anything larger, and environmentalists opposed them. These two machines would prove to be the largest ever built. In 1991, both machines stopped breathing. A fire broke out in the captain's engine compartment, gutting the machine. Repairs were too costly, and it was scrapped in 1992. Big Muskie ground to a halt because of the Clean Air Act, which suffocated the demand for the high sulfur coal it was unearthing. It fell to the salvage man's torch in 1999. For 120 years, the two companies were locked in a battle of the behemoths. But in 1997, Bucyrus purchased Marion, ending the rivalry. Bucyrus bought out the Marion Power Shovel Company in, in recent years. And that was difficult at first for us to accept the enemy. However, we've gotten to know those people very good, and we're really one big family now, just trying to produce the best product. When Big Muskie was scrapped, the machine produced enough recycled steel to make over 9,000 cars.